Welcome to lesson two. This time we're looking at addition with regrouping and this should be a review from what you learned in level two. Today you're going to need pages seven through nine, a small whiteboard marker and eraser or a piece of scratch paper, and of course a pencil because you always need a pencil to do math. Okay, let's practice our multiplication facts. Three times three is nine. Six times six is 36. Five times three is 15. Eight times four is 32. Eight times eight is 64. Three times four is 12. Five times five is 25. Nine times nine is 81. And six times four is 24. In the mental math section at the top of page seven, we're looking at adding nine to a number. So one way to think about this is instead of just adding nine, you can think about adding 10 and then subtracting one because 10 is one more than nine. So using this strategy, I would do 29 plus 10 which equals 39, only the tens place is going to change. And then I'm going to subtract one because I was really adding the nine, not 10. 39 minus one is 38. So look at these problems and I want you to mentally answer them. Let's start with 36 plus nine. Think about adding 10 to 36 and then subtracting 1 from that and you should get 45. 47 plus 9, well 47 plus 10 is 57 minus 1 is 56. 24 plus 9, well, 24 plus 10 would be 34, and 34 minus 1 would be 33. For 53 plus 9, 53 plus 10 would be 63, and then 63 minus 1 is 62. Finally, for 38 plus 9, 38 plus 10 would be 48. 48 minus 1 is 47. Right outside of Bo and Chun's village is a small bamboo forest and a little lake. One day, the siblings went on a picnic. As they walked through the bamboo forest toward the lake, they decided to count all the insects they could find. Because they had found some flowering bamboo with many bees, they both counted a lot of insects. Bo counted 468 and Chun counted 524. Let's practice addition with regrouping to find out how many insects they found together. Okay, so we're going to start over in the ones place. So we're gonna look at eight plus four first. I know that eight plus four is 12. And I know that 12 can't go down in the bottom in the answer place because it's a two digit number. So remember we take and we split the tens in 12 and add them to the top of the tens column. And then the two is going to go down in the answer space. So you still have that 12, the one is here and the two is here. So the one goes up, the two goes down. 
Now we're ready to add the tens column. So we're going to add these digits together. Don't forget to add the one that you carried. So six plus one is seven, plus two more is nine. We write that total down in the answer space. Finally, we're going to move over to the hundreds column. Four plus five is equal to nine, and we're going to put that in the answer space. So now we know that 468 plus 524 equals 992. Okay, I want you to press pause and complete these four problems that are on your paper. When you have completed them, go ahead and press play so that you can check your work. So pause now. Okay, let's check our work. I'm going to start with the first question. And over here we have 1,324 plus 1,437. Starting in the ones column, 4 plus 7 is 11. 1 goes up, 1 goes down. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 3 more is 6. 3 plus 4 is 7, comma, doodloop drops down to the bottom. One plus one is two. Two hundred, or 2,761. Then the next one, eight plus eight is 16. One goes up, six goes down. One plus seven is eight, plus one more is nine. Four plus four is eight. Comma drops like a rock. Doodloop. 5 plus 4 is 9, so the answer is 9,896. Then the next one, we start in the ones place. 2 plus 9 is 11. 1 goes up, 1 goes down. 6 plus 1 is 7, plus 3 more is 10. 1 goes up, 0 goes down. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 2 more is 7, comma, doodle -doo -doo. 6 plus 3 is 9, so our total is 9,701. And our final question, 5 plus 8 is 13, 1 goes up, 3 goes down, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 4 more is 9, 3 plus 5 is 8, comma, doo -doo -doo. 7 plus 1 is 8, 8,893. How'd you do? Zero has no value on its own, but it acts as a placeholder for other digits in a number. Here we have the number 502. If I took out the zero and didn't put it for the placeholder, I would have the number 52, which is very different from 502. If you had a chance to earn $502 or $52, which would you rather earn? Probably 502. So the zero, even though it doesn't have a value, is very important in a, in a number. It's going to hold the place if in this case there's no tens, if there's none of a certain type, then you put the zero to hold the place. Otherwise it changes the number. Okay, let's look at these numbers. I want you to read the numbers aloud, noticing how zeros act as placeholders. Say thousand each time you see the comma. That's this comma's name, thousand. Okay, so let's try this first one. 10,506. 17,280. 58,071. 90,310. 82,900. Okay, on your whiteboard, I want you to use 
your whiteboard and your marker to write the number shown by the expanded form. Remember, this is one way we can show a number with expanded form where we add together the different place values. If no value is given for a place, use zero in that place. So if you notice this first one, there's no tens place. So in the tens place, you're going to have a zero. Okay, I want you to try these four, push pause, and then check your work after you have completed them. Okay, so this first one, 500 plus seven, you should have written 507. Don't forget that zero. For the next one, 70,000 plus 4,000 plus 90, you should have written seven, four, comma, zero hundreds, nine, zero. So we would say that 74,090. And for the last one, you should have written three, comma, zero, six, eight. Again, there's nothing in the hundreds place here, so we have to add the zero. So your answer is 3,068. Okay, we're now at the lesson practice part. So this part, I will not be giving you the answers. I will read everything for you, but you will need to fill in your answers and then have your parent or teacher check them. At the top of page eight, it asks, which insect is commonly eaten in China? Complete the problems, remembering to include the comma. Find the problem with the greatest sum to find the insect that is eaten, circle it. Okay, so let's talk about this. It says the greatest sum. Do you remember that a sum is the answer to an addition problem? So you're going to answer these four problems and then the one with the greatest sum, the largest answer, is going to be the insect that is eaten and you're going to circle that insect. Push pause and do these four problems now. Okay, at the bottom of that column, it says write the numbers shown in their expanded form using zeros as placeholders. In the first number, notice that there are no tens, so write zero in the tens place. Remember to include commas. So you're going to take the expanded form and you're going to write it in standard form, the way you normally see a number written. Okay, go ahead and do those now. Pause your video. On the middle section on page eight, it says write the number on each chart. Remember to include the comma. Okay, so if you watched my review video for um, how to do the um, place value, you would have remembered that we said circle the word thousand and look at what comes before and behind that word. That will help you figure out where you need to put your digits in the place value chart, okay? So this one says 3,402. You have to read very carefully. Number two says, 67,021. Remember, circle that thousand and look at what comes before it and after it. Number three says 30,097. Then at the very bottom it says, write the five digit number that has three in the 10 thousands place, four in the hundreds place, and zero in all the other places. The final section says, some bamboo can grow as fast as 35 inches a day. 
write a problem to figure out how much the bamboo could grow in two days by adding 35 to 35. Then complete the problem. So day one plus day two. Bo and Chun's dad needs 148 pieces of bamboo to build a boat and 228 pieces to build a bridge. Write a problem adding those numbers together to figure out how much bamboo he needs to build both items, then complete the problem. So the amount for the boat, the amount for the bridge, and the total. Okay, we're here at our final part, the review and activities section. Remember this part I will read for you if you need help with reading. And um, you will need to fill in your answers and have your parent or teacher check it for you. So the first part says, figure out the skip counting number pattern and write the missing numbers. So there's a pattern happening and you're going to fill in the missing numbers in that pattern. Same thing with this one. Figure out the skip counting pattern and write in the missing numbers. At the bottom of the page, it says on the bamboo sticks, that's these pictures down here, write the numbers shown by the expanded form. So it gives you the expanded form, and you're writing the standard form. Write the numbers from greatest to least. So the greatest number is the biggest, least is the smallest. So I would look and see, hmm, which one is going to be the biggest? Looking at the first place values that they give me. And I would figure out that one first and then the next largest, and finally the smallest. All right, the last section is called Bamboo Logic. Read the clues to find the secret number. Write the number in the green box. A strategy is, as you read through each clue, cross off any numbers inside the shapes that you can eliminate. So we have three shapes here, and each shape has numbers inside, and we are using these clues to figure out which number, there's only one, is the mystery number. So here's the first clue. It is in both the brown bamboo rectangle and the star. So the, the mystery number is in this rectangle and this star. So think about which numbers are in both. It is not in the green bamboo rectangle. So these numbers are not it. Clue number three, it is greater than six. So any number that's lower than six cannot be it. And those clues should have given you enough to figure out the mystery number. Let's read them one more time. It is in both the brown bamboo rectangle and the star. It is not in the green bamboo rectangle. It is greater than six. Congratulations, you completed lesson number two. Give pages eight and nine to your parent or teacher so they can check your work. And I'll see you next time.